Monster Hunter World, where do I even start? This game is really awesome. Hey there guys, what is going on? It's Chill Out Zone YT here. And before you continue watching this video, please click that subscribe button below and leave a like. How are you guys? You amazing, lovely guys. You know, I really appreciate your um, feedback and support on my videos. And I've been trying to improve them, you know, produce uh, as much as be best quality content I can. So, high rank Monster Hunter World. Um, this game is split into basically two portions where one is called low rank where you fight off like weaker versions of monsters and then you come finally to high rank where you well you defeat higher versions of the monsters a bit little bit like uh you know normal mode and hard mode so i have now entered the hard mode of the game now the uh recording you see here are uh, is actually just low rank uh, uh low rank rafalos i believe yeah rafalos that's basically a um a what do you call it a a wyvern or whatever you, a monster that uh breathes fire and stuff so yeah it's, it's and, and it also has poisonous attacks so you have to keep on having antidotes either way i mean really so far monster hunter world has been interesting it's definitely an interesting experience and um like no other game i have played because you know i I, you know, I started off with games like Uncharted, then slowly to Horizon Zero Dawn, and I must say I've been enjoying its challenge. It's much, much more challenging than Horizon Zero Dawn ever was. Um, this game, I must say now, it's definitely, it's, you know, it really wants to challenge you. I mean, each monster, you know, it, it appears to be a wall. You will hit walls and walls and walls in this game, uh, especially if you are a newbie like me, and it takes you ages to ki kill even low rank monsters. For example, in this clip here, oh my goodness me, the Ablos gave me hell. I beat him in legit 42 minutes. 42 minutes! Therefore, I had about 8 minutes to spare. So every uh, quest, you get 50 minutes to defeat a monster. 50 minutes. Either way, you know, it really, you know, it really has helped me develop my gaming skills and made me think before I actually go into fights. And it's also enabled me to try new things, like, for example, capture monsters, as capturing monsters is quite rewarding in this game as well, as, you know, you get, like, more materials and stuff. And also, you don't necessarily have to kill that monster, so you can shorten your hunts. Over here in this clip, I captured a Baroth, or I was attempting to capture a Baroth. Um, and actually, I did it. I succeeded. Either way, high rank, here we come. I'm really, really nervous. Really nervous. Because if, you know, I struggled. I found low rank pretty difficult. And then I've got high rank to do. I was like, wait, are you serious? There's more bloody monsters to kick my ass? Really? Wow. That said, even if I do play differently in the arena, and that means basically shit because I'm not used to it and I'm usually out where I can do a lot of things with my environment, getting one shot by a Raytheon and not knowing how to use weird weapons that I just chose to use for absolutely no reason, this game itself is just immensely rewarding because it gives you that feel good grind. You have to farm and farm and farm for materials. You have to look for the right armor sets with the right skills. You have to look for the right weapons with the right uh, um, affinity or element and you know and once when you when it finally cracks when you finally actually complete that objective whether you capture or kill that monster that has been pissing you off for so long wow that that feeling you get it, it, it just uh, it just makes you ecstatic it certainly makes me ecstatic at least so um anyway yeah so that's um looking forward to, i'm kind of looking forward to high rank at the same time as i said before monsters are going to kick my ass all right but i mean this is this is the real game um i read about it and i said oh once you've done low rank welcome to the real game i will go through hell here now obviously i might be exaggerating because i'm a complete noob to the series so i might you know as in terms of been struggling with low rank so high rank might be a big challenge but i mean either way I mean, who, who cares? Th this is a challenge, you know? I mean, if I'm going to go on to play games like Bloodborne and May... Y yes, Bloodborne, I know. Which is probably going to be in, like my first Born slash Souls game, which I'm going to try. Then, you know, I, I better, you know, I better deck my hands down and, you know, start, start doing it the right way, you know? I better really try my best. And uh, so I will. I will not give up. And I will, hopefully, on in the future on my channel be slaughtering those high rank monsters and posting the gameplay that is my thoughts on monster hunter world and high rank it it i found it a hard game so far however i do believe it's immensely rewarding once you tackle those walls oh yeah there's gonna be monsters in your face but you're gonna hit that wall hard you're gonna whack it and believe me i have for example i had a case with anjanath which is this t-rex or monster and i was stuck on for like a hundred days right like, 
you know, like really long. But I mean, when I actually beat him, and when I beat Diablos as well, which I had similar issues with, you know, them being really hard for me for some reason, my weaknesses, and Baroff, because they were like all tanks and they hit really hard. You know, I mean, holy hell, when I beat them, you know, that feeling that just surges you, and you're like, no, I want more, no, I want more challenge, I want something to kick my ass repeatedly again, you know, take even days, even a week to defeat, and then when you finally defeat that monster, you're like, Woo! And I know that's probably going to happen with high rank, considering that, you know, there are a lot of hard-hitting monsters now, and they don't even give you a chance to attack. So I'm going to need to create those small windows of opportunity, you know, using traps, using tactics, being a bow user and all that. And yeah, bow has pretty much, I love the bow, it's become my favorite weapon, you know, because it's just got so many different coatings, you know, you can craft different specific bows with uh, ele elemental, you know, damage to certain types of monsters. And few, and you know, it really helps. It's just generally cool because you can also, you know, attack from a range. You got range. You got, you know, a fair amount of damage. I mean, every uh, weapon in this game I've heard so far, I've done, been doing my research, is pretty much balanced. So you know, wh whatever, whatever wha um, weapon you choose to solo with, pff, you will have a good time with it if you can adapt to it. And when you click with it, so the bow I clicked with. So high rank, here we come, huh? I mean, uh, right now, as you can see, the clip. Low rank Diablos, he gave me a lot of hell, huh? And now, imagine I will have to eventually face off a high rank Black Diablos. So, I mean, like, wow. So, Monster Hunter World is awesome once again, and please subscribe, please leave a like. These are just my thoughts on high rank and my thoughts on what my Monster Hunter World, my experience so far. Please subscribe, leave a like, and I'm gonna get ready for high rank.